Yeah, Tanya and Terrell, some very disturbing details coming out of court at this hour. First of all, 71-year-old Joseph Zuba entered the courtroom wearing red, a red jumpsuit and shackles the judge appointing Zuba a public defender. Zuba, an Air Force veteran, is charged in part with first-degree murder, attempted murder, and two hate crimes. When asked if he understood the charges and the time he faces for each, he replied, yes, sir, to each. Now, Zuba is accused of murdering six-year-old Waidea Alfumi, who will be buried later on this afternoon. This is one of the last pictures taken of the Central Elementary School student who celebrated his birthday just a couple weeks ago. He was stabbed 26 times. His mother was stabbed 12 times and remains in the hospital. Will County investigators say the mother and son were attacked by Zuba, who was their landlord. It happened at the family's Plainfield home on Saturday morning, where a small memorial is growing. Prosecutors saying in court that Zuba confronted the mother over what was going on in the Middle East, and then an argument turned physical. Prosecutors say she got away by locking herself in the bathroom, but wasn't able to get to her son. Now, overnight, the U.S. Justice Department opened a federal investigation into the killing. ABC 7's legal analyst Gil Sofer says that it isn't a certainty that federal charges will be filed, but he believes it's likely. It's likely, based on the facts as we know them so far, the most challenging part of a civil rights case like this is to prove intent. Given the statements that we hear were made by this defendant, uh, it seems the case can be brought by the department. It's got a pretty strong one. President Biden releasing a statement saying, in part, the child's Palestinian Muslim family came to America seeking what we all seek, a refuge to live, learn, and pray in peace. This horrific act of hate has no place in America and stands against our fundamental values, freedom from fear for how we pray, what we believe, and who we are. Now back here live, prosecutors say back on October 11th, Zuba confronted the mother as well. And he said he wanted to kick them out of the house. So many di disturbing details, as I mentioned, are coming out of this hearing, which is still underway. And of course, we will keep you updated. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.